I don't know if you remember this piece. Well, you will remember this piece. Of course you remember this piece. It's the one with the petals on. I cross-stitched the fabric and cut it up and then used it for applique with the petals. It's kind of evolved. The original purpose of this piece was to be attached to a piece of the paperwork that I showed you yesterday. <coughs> and for some reason, I, I just didn't... It, I couldn't live with it. It didn't fit for me. And this... I'm just so in love with this piece of work. And I'm going to keep it for myself, it's for me. Um, I absolutely adore it, but I've got a bit of a dilemma and I'm hoping that by talking about it, it'll make things clearer in my mind. It's kind of like as if I'm approaching my friend and saying, I'm thinking this and I'm thinking that, what do you think? So, I mean, you can't talk back to me, but hopefully, just by me verbally expressing what I'm thinking, it might help me. But in the meantime, it's been added to, okay, I've added more lace on this edge because I wanted to extend it. And by doing that, I've created the ability to put on a, an edge in here of buttonhole lace that just alters that surface so beautifully. I love how that's affected that there. And then at the bottom, I've added this lace. There's two separate pieces of lace. I've added them to a piece of bought cloth with French knots up there and bullion knots around there and then again the buttonhole lace there and these two pieces are joined with French knots there I've put something in this space, this was a natural space that formed when I put the cloth together so I've put something in there and then I've put a plique of more cross stitch cloth on the bottom here and this, I did this last night and I just, I adore it now this isn't finished, I need to finish the edges and I'm not even convinced that I won't add something else to it. But my dilemma is what am I going to do with this? I have special pieces that I keep. Um, so mostly I've got a little glass cabinet in my bedroom and I keep them in there. And it's, it's enough to know they're there, yes. But I also think I would like something of mine that I've done recently. I've got work of mine that isn't recent on the walls in the house. I want something of this, of this era of my life, this part of my life, on the wall where I can see it, okay, and because this is white and it's so fragile, I'm leaning towards, against my better judgement, I'm leaning towards a frame, and I'm thinking a deep frame, so that, you know, there'd be a lot of space between the glass and the work, but I have this, it's almost like a... I don't know, it's in my genes that cloth shouldn't be behind glass and I can't get past that. Um, so I don't know basically, I just don't know what to do because I loved this morning when I was getting this ready, I was photographing it and I was getting the video ready and I just loved the handling of it, I just loved to pick it up and hold it. Now, how can I do that on a daily basis without this becoming vulnerable? I mean, I don't have small children, I don't have any pets I do, I like to think I've got a clean home, um, but still, what would I do with it so that on a daily basis it could be visible, displayed, on shore, retain its preciousness, retain its quality and its cleanliness, um, other than put it in a deep recessed box frame? I just don't know what to do. I think I'm going to have to put it in a frame. Perhaps, I don't know, I'll have to go and speak to a frame. I never frame anything myself. I've never framed anything myself in my life. But perhaps if I spoke to a framer, it could be hung inside the frame and not attached to the back. And then it would maybe fall. It would hang freer and there'd be a little bit of movement going on. I don't know. It's, I think from this, just from talking about this for the length of this video, which is now like four minutes, I think. Um, yeah. I think I've decided what I need to do is speak to a framer and ask their opinion about having it hanging within a frame of some kind. But it's going to need glass to protect it from dust. I mean, some of the things I have hanging up now aren't white, you see. They're from the period when I wasn't working all in white. And I can get the dust off them by shaking them outside, you know, and banging them with my hand or bits of cloth to waft the dust off them. I wouldn't want to do that with this. I think it needs to be almost archived in a way because it's so fine um, so that was me doing this video as a means to help myself make a decision about that so I think if I can find a sympathetic framer somebody who knows what they're doing that might be a task in itself because as I say I never get anything framed so I don't really know any framers um, I think that's what I'm going to have to do 
but meantime it's not finished you may be seeing more of it and i just hope you don't get bored of it um but i'm so in love with this piece of cloth i have a real passion for this i just love especially this delicacy down here that's going on with the lace with the applique on the top 